Hello subscribers and watchers from SlideNerd, this is Vivs here again. In this video, let's continue what we were previously discussing. So we have our fragment A that contains a list view and blah blah blah. And we have our fragment B that contains a text view and the same stuff. Now we need to make a landscape orientation for our activity main because everything is concerned about our main activity. When it is in the landscape mode, the fragments are stuck together. When it's in the portrait mode the fragments are separate right so let's first create a layout in the landscape for our main activity i'm gonna say res new android resource file make sure we called it activity underscore main now make sure the name is the same because that's how things work so i'm gonna say layout here now add some qualifiers now these qualifiers are the way that you distinguish your uh, resource that should be loaded at runtime for your activity for example, if you see there's a night mode given over here, that means if you want a separate user interface at night time, you can add this night mode qualifier and at runtime, your app will load this night mode instead of the normal UI that you have. So I'm going to take orientation here and just click this button to select it. Select the landscape orientation, click OK. And as you notice, here is how my UI will look in the landscape mode. If you go on the left side here and check out, now there are two folders there is one called layout the other is called layout dash land if you expand this you will notice there are two files activity underscore main dot xml with the same name in different folders so when in portrait this activity underscore main will be loaded in landscape it will be this activity underscore main that will be loaded for you so here let's put the fragments together so into the design tab go to the bottom select fragment fragment a click ok then again put fragment b the same way go back to our text tab the orientation is vertical so let's make it horizontal so that completes my layout for the landscape mode now let's go to our activity underscore main for the portrait mode here we will only have one fragment so if you go to the text tab it has an id fragment and if you go to our other main it has id fragment fragment 2 make sure the ids are the same to avoid confusions fragment a should have the same id no matter where it is and fragment b should also have the same ID no matter where it is and that way it will be very easy for you so now going back to our another activity now if you guys remember there is something called another activity in our application this activity will be launched in the portrait mode when the user selects an item from the list view so this will contain our fragment B so going to its appearance here make sure its ID is fragment 2 and we are pretty much done with this so now let's go back to our fragment A now as you guys remember the communication pattern that we discussed first of all we need to make an interface have a single method called respond inside this communicator interface this respond method will carry some data from fragment a to fragment b and in our case that data would be the index of the item that the user selected from the list view so i'm going to say in index as the parameter for this method next create a reference to this communicator by saying communicator have a method called set communicator and that pretty much takes care of everything now going to our main activity get a reference to fragment a by saying fragment a f1 not a good way to name variables but for now i'm going to stick with this and then create a fragment manager saying manager over here so inside our on create of our main activity let's initialize the fragment manager by saying manager equals to get fragment manager and then initialize fragment a because remember whether it is the landscape whether it is the portrait fragment a will always be there but in the portrait fragment b is not there inside our main activity however in the landscape it is there so we'll initialize fragment a first and that would be the reason f1 perform the appropriate type casting pressing alt enter and that takes care of most of the things now we will use the set communicator method inside our fragment a so in our fragment a if you guys remember we had the set communicator method that takes an object that implements the communicator interface right so inside our main activity let us be the object that implements the communicator interface so since we implemented the interface we got to override the method and there is our respond method now i'm gonna say f1 dot set communicator this and here i'm passing an object of type main activity but inside our fragment a that main activity is assigned to an interface communicator 
that means we can use this variable communicator to call any method that is related to the interface from fragment A. In other words, I want to call this respond method from here in fragment A. And why would I do that? Because every time the user clicks on the item, I want to say communicator dot respond with the given index i. That means someone clicks on the item in the list view, communicator dot respond is executed. That calls the respond method inside our activity. And from here, we will call fragment B and set the data appropriately. Now you guys get the bigger picture of how things are working, right? Now there's one thing that we need to check right now and that is whether we are using lab portrait mode or we are using landscape mode so let's get our fragment manager here and try to get fragment b by saying manager dot find fragment by id r dot id dot fragment 2 say f2 equals to this perform the appropriate typecasting now everything works on one simple rule now if you guys remember in the portrait mode Fragment 2 is not at all there inside our uh, main activity, right? So we will use the condition by saying if f2 not equals to null, it should not be null and it should also be visible. And I'll put an else. Now let me show you what this means. If our fragment 2 is not null and if it is visible, it means that we are actually seeing the fragment and that means we are inside our landscape orientation. Otherwise, it means that we are inside portrait orientation. So in the landscape orientation, directly call f2 dot change data. Remember, f2 is a reference to our fragment B. We say change data. If you go to fragment B here, there is a change data method that will change the data of our text view. So here I'm going to pass the index from main activity by saying index over here inside our fragment B let me make the appropriate changes I'll again say int index here remove this I'll get the string array by saying string descriptions is get resources dot get string array r dot array dot descriptions so what I'm trying to do is get that string array which is named as description in the form of this Java object which is string descriptions now I'll find our text view which is text set the appropriate description by saying text dot set text descriptions of index and this is the reason why we need the index now the index comes a whole lot of way right from fragment a the user selects the item it goes to our communicator dot respond and then it goes to our main activity the same index is passed on to our fragment 2 dot change data and from here it comes all the way inside fragment b where the data is actually changed by getting the total array and setting the appropriate description right and that's the exact sequence of steps so going back to our main activity now else condition now remember when the fragment is not null and it is visible it means that the fragment is being seen by the user in the landscape mode but in the else condition we are we are talking about the portrait mode where the fragment may or may not be null but it is not visible Remember, the reason why I have solely not used this condition null is because the fragment object has different states. It may be created or initialized as a Java object and hence it may not be null. But on the other hand, if it is not visible, that surely means that we are in a different mode. So going to our portrait mode, I will launch an intent by saying intent, intent equals to new intent, right? So the else condition gets executed when the user is in the portrait mode. I'll say this another activity dot class and to this intent I will pass the index by saying intent dot put extra. I'll call it index and pass the index value over here and then I'll say start activity. So whenever the user is in the portrait mode the respond method is called and the else part runs and the intent is being executed the other activity gets launched so let's go to our another activity here we will get the intent by saying intent I'll use the get intent method to retrieve the intent I'm gonna say intent dot get int extra index and in case there is nothing coming out of it I'll give a default value of 0 and store this inside our variable called int index 
and now remember another activity if you go to its layout activity underscore another dot XML you will notice that fragment B is contained inside our another activity so let's get a reference to this fragment B in our code by going here using the same fragment manager I'm gonna say get fragment manager dot find fragment by ID r dot ID dot fragment 2 see fragment B F2 equals to this press alt enter to perform the type casting and then say f2 dot change data index also we'll check if f2 is not equal to null just to be on the safe side so here my emulator has started running and as you guys notice we are inside main activity in the portrait mode so if you click activities here the other intent gets triggered and you can see the description so now if you go back you go to content providers just to see stuff and the appropriate description is loaded go back now let's change the orientation to landscape mode by pressing ctrl f11 and now you guys notice that fragment a and fragment b are beside each other you click service the description is loaded right content provider the service the description is loaded on the right side so you guys notice this is how a flexible user interface is designed in android when in the landscape mode both the fragments are near each other but in the portrait mode they are away from each other and this is the basis of reusability in android using fragments so if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day